Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. Welcome back. It is week 12 of our weekly vendor weapon reset. Now these are for the weapon rolls. If you're looking for PvE specific activities, go ahead and check out Mesa Sean. He has you covered for the raid and everything from the nightfall to burns, things like that. But first start off with Ronnie. First is the Parthian shot and he's always bringing these things, man. We have the Reflex, Sure Shot, OEG. These are both really good scopes. We have Outlaw or Life Support, Small Bore, Feather Mag, and then Counterbalance. So the site's gonna be up to you. I prefer the Sure Shot. We're gonna go with Outlaw because small bore reduces the mag a little bit, but we get a little bit more range and stability, but that's okay, we have counterbalance to make our side to side recoil pretty much eliminated to go up and down. Really good Parthian shot this week. If you don't have this archetype yet, just pick one up. Uh, because if not, he's probably gonna bring another good one. Next is gonna be the Angel's Advocate, and I did pick up the one last week with Brace Frame Reactive. It was very good. But again, we have the Red Dot ORA, Range Lens, and then the Reflex. Reflex is a big, big thing for the for the Angel's Advocate as, as far as your sights go. We have Zen Moment, and remember, once we get that stability up, we have perfect balance this week. Uh, probably around the second hit, you'll really start feeling it. It maxes out at five, and Zen Moment's really fast. It does 60% of the stability. So we have Zen Moment, or who's next? Never touch this perk. We're going to go with Zen Moment. Perfect Balance, Hammer Forge. We would go with Perfect Balance for the stability and then Hidden Hand. Remember, this is like the Mita Multi-Tool, and we can use this as a legendary kind of fill-in for that. And then we have the Bone Crusher. Really good this week. Very, very hard-hitting machine gun. CQB, Linear, and Field Choke. We would probably go with uh, one of these two, probably Linear. Uh, and you know, use the machine guns while you can. Doesn't sound like they're, it doesn't really sound like it's going to be in Destiny 2. But we have Eye of the Storm Spray and Play. And then hand laid stock, rifled barrel, and then counterbalance. So this thing shoots really slow. You can tap fire it like a scout rifle. If you need to, you can put on hand laid stock, but you should be good with rifled. Um, in between these, in PvE, we're going to go with spray and play, and with PvP, we're going to go Eye of the Storm. At Dead Orbit, first we're going to start off with the Keystone because it's kind of nice what we did. It's a high impact scout. We have the Red Dot ORA range lens and the OEG. It's probably going to be between these two. Uh, now this is for PVE and PVP. We have Extended Mag or Quick Draw, Perfect Balance, Third Eye, and then Hidden Hand. We definitely like the Perfect Balance, Hidden Hand, Extended Mag combo. Uh, long sight lines, things like Widow's Court for PVP. Not so much on things like Assembly, but also in PvE. Now, if this thing had explosive rounds, that'd be a little bit different. It'd be really good. Uh, but you know what? We're okay with this as a just fine all-around scout rifle. We have the last ditch, and again, this is going to be probably strictly PvE. For the Blissics, we have Smart Drift, CQB, and Soft. Extended Mag, Lightweight, Perfect Balance, Surrounded, and Full Auto. It's this surrounded full auto combination. When a lot of enemies get close to you, you get more damage, you can pump off the shells with full auto. Next with Future War Cult, we're gonna talk about the Waltz. And you know, again, this is like that, this thing kinda got nerfed way back in the day, the Rate of Fire, but this is like the Grasp of Malak, Clever Dragon. We have the Red Dot ORA2, Steady Hand, and OEG. Really kinda horrible sights, unfortunately. Some people like these, I personally do not. But we have High Caliber Rounds, Lightweight, Small bore, outlaw, and then counterbalance. So it's going to be where you want to go with this. You're going to be okay with base stability, base range with this thing. But we want high caliber rounds for PvP. And again, this is going to be to your liking. But what to remember about the waltz is we have 30 rounds in the magazine. It didn't get affected like the grasp and the clever dragon. And then of course counterbalance, was, which is huge on pulse rifles. Then of course we have the best primary weapon in the game, the Wormwood. Just in case you needed one, this is one with Hidden Hand this week. We have the Steady Hand, Fast Draw, Quick Draw, Armor Piercing Rounds, a Quick Draw, Hand Loaded, Relentless Tracker, and then Hidden Hand. So again, range might help a little bit, all that helps with aim assist and all that fun stuff. So it's going to be where you want to go with it. Relentless Tracker is never a bad perk, and we would probably go with Quick Draw, even though since we're always up in people's faces, the Armor Piercing Rounds over penetrating targets could be a thing. Next at the Crucible Quartermaster, let's see what our bounties are. Real quick, we have the Hand Cannon Bounty, Pulse Rifle, Fusion, Sniper, and then Heavy Weapon. First, let's start off with the Zero Day Dilemma. And I just really like what you can do with this. A lot of people might not spend their marks on it, but we have the Red Dot ORA Quick Draw OEG. This is just a basic spray and have fun auto rifle. And no matter what you put on it, it's gonna be good because we have Crowd Controller Grenadier, 
Perfect Balance or a Pitted Magazine in Persistence. Persistence is really good on auto rifles. So I like the idea of Persistence, larger magazine with a pended, and then crowd control. But if you want to go, let's say, Grenadier, Perfect Balance, Persistence, you're good. Or Grenadier, a pended magazine, Persistence. It's all really well rolled. I mean, I wish most auto rifles kind of rolled like this so you can pick and choose. Next is going to be the Hero Formula. And the reason we're going to bring it up is for a reactive reload hand laid stock combination with the MD Reflex or the Reflex. It's going to be uh, up to you. We have the range lens as well. So it's Eye of the Storm, Last Resort. We're going to go with Eye of the Storm. Handlay stock or explosive rounds and then reactive reload. So between these two, it does cause a little bit of flinch when you start peppering people down with these fast firing scout rifles. But if you want the stability to get reactive reload going, put on some scout rifle gauntlets and have some fun. Next is going to be the palindrome, and this is the most basic hand cannon I have ever seen in Destiny. So if you're new to hand cannons, it might be worth considering just on a base level because we have the true sight, sure shot, and quick draw. Relentless tracker, partial refund, reinforced barrel, high caliber rounds, and third eye. So we have third eye, radar stays active when you're aiming down sights, and then when you get a kill with the weapon, your radar goes out a little bit. So again, a very base level hand cannon. We hit range cap. Now you're going to be kind of struggling with the stability possibly, but again, if you're new to it and you know, you're having trouble with hand cannons, this is going to keep your awareness up. You still do max damage for what you can do with the palindrome. It might be worth considering. And next is going to be the chaotic neutral. We have the CQB ballistics, linear compensator, soft ballistics combination, life support or gorilla fighter. If you can find a spot, Gorilla Fighter is actually decent, but with all the cover and destiny, it kind of is what it is. Live support, you'll probably get a little more traction out of. We have Brace Frame, Armor Piercing Rounds, and Persistence, so we really get that stability up there. Persistence is really going to help it out. We drop our magazine, but that's all right. It's uh, it's one of those machine guns that's going to be very easy to work with um, to land really good shots in PvE or PvP. And finally, with New Monarchy, we are going to talk about the auto rifle, the assembly. Now, this is kind of similar. I believe it might have been, been the same exact thing as we got a long time ago, but we have the Red Dot ORA Quick Draw in the OEG. So we have Armor Piercing Rounds, Quick Draw, Perfect Balance, Crowd Control, and then Counterbalance. So we get essentially straight up and down recoil. This thing kicks like a newborn baby, kicks like a mule, but we have crowd control to go on to our next target with. And uh, if you can't handle it, we do have perfect balance there. Now between these two, we're probably gonna go with quick draw. Quick draw is kind of special for this auto rifle in this class to kind of put it on there. To go in between this and let's say a sidearm or an icebreaker, it's just a really good perk combination. So that's going to be it, guys. And, you know, the top three, it was really kind of a vanilla week. Uh, the palindrome's like the ultimate user-friendly hand cannon, uh, first starting off with it. It's a pretty weird, pretty weird perk combination. But the Parthian shot's really good, definitely. The waltz is really good. It's like the week of the pulse rifle. Um, and, you know, there's some niche things you can do with, let's say, the hero formula. Of course, the wormwood's going to be good, things like that. So tell me what you guys are most excited for in the comments section. And until the next one, I am Cool Guy.